Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we're gonna be looking at the Jackal Sniper from Halo 3 by McFarlane. I absolutely love this figure. I think it really couldn't have turned out too much better. It's almost spot on for the in-game model. Very cool figure. He stands about five and a half inches tall to the top of his mohawk, which is individually sculpted for each piece. It's a softer material, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the mouth doesn't close but still the head sculpt is fantastic. The sculpt on this entire figure is really good. The hair is all separate pieces. The armor is good. Everything looks good on this guy. Really can't complain too much. He has peg holes in his feet just because he is a little tricky to stand, but you definitely don't need a base like you do for the combat flood. So you could steal its base though, but you don't need it. So the paint on this guy is equally good to the sculpt. You can see he's got the little freckles throughout his skin. Nice texturing, nice washes and dry brushing. The armor looks good. Really, there's nothing to complain about with this guy. As far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball peg. Gives you plenty range of motion, especially if you pop it off. It does pop off kind of easily, but that's okay because it also allows for a really good range of motion. So, I'm not going to complain too much about that. The shoulders are on a swivel, which could have been better, but you still get the uh, hinge out of it. So I'm not going to complain about that either. You can get the arms up a little bit. If not, just rotate it and you can get the arm where you need it to go. Single jointed elbow and wrist rotation. Same on both sides. This hand is sculpted a little bit more to hold the rifle. This hand is more for like uh, supporting the rifle while he's shooting like that. Of course you can do it better, but I'm just doing it quickly for the review. Okay, torso is on a ball hinge, not too much forward and back or side to side. You're going to mostly just get the swivel out of it, but it is technically a ball, not a ball hinge, a ball peg. Uh, the hips, standard ball hinges, they swivel and have the hinge and everything you need for them. The thigh swivel is built into that, so that's pretty much as much articulation as you can get out of a hip joint. They did a good job with that. The knees swivel at the top and at the bottom and have a hinge, so they have really a full range of motion there too. You can't get much better than that. And then the ankle, it swivels at the top and at the bottom and has the hinge. So this figure was really ahead of its time in terms of articulation. They did a really good job with it. The sculpt is good, the paint's good. Really nothing to complain about with this guy. Absolutely love it, highly recommend it. Go get it if you can. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, more custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.